This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Almadex Minerals, Dr. Morgan Poliquin. Morgan, how are you today, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks very much. And you? I am well. Thank you so much for asking. I appreciate it. You had some news here recently, about a week or so ago. You provided an update on three newly identified high sulfidation porphyry copper gold prospects in the Western USA. Obviously, the company is laser focused on expanding and advancing the portfolio of very prospective properties in amazing jurisdictions. These three projects happen to be in central Nevada and Colorado. I thought I'd have you on just to provide an update on the types of prospects that you have and the work that's going into them. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, we are, uh, I like laser focused. That's what we are. We're focused um, on copper and gold and we have some pretty pretty uh, successful experience in exploring for, for porphyry and related systems and particularly identifying new belts. So what we feel that we've done is identify a trend that's important for uh, what we call magmatic hydrothermal systems, which are basically old volcanoes where the deeper part is where you can find the porphyry and uh, which are big, large bulk tonnage copper uh, gold sometimes to deposits and in fact they produce 80% of the world's copper 20% of the world's gold and almost all of its molybdenum so really important class of deposit and what they what they tend to do is um, uh, well they're formed by intrusions that come up into whatever rock happens to be there along very specific trends and structures which is what we're working on and then what they do is they bake or alter the rock above them uh, with the hot fluids that come out of these magmas. And depending on where you are, you get uh, hopefully the porphyry part of it deeper down and higher up. Uh, oftentimes there's other types of gold deposits that can form. So in Nevada, what we've noticed is that there's a trend <clears throat> that we think is important for these things. And um, that trend has been, in our opinion, under-recognized. And uh, there's real opportunities by identifying the the clay minerals that form from those hot fluids above the porphyry and then drilling underneath to find the big, uh, what I think is one of the big prizes in the world in mineral exploration is, is uh, copper rich porphyry. So that's what we're doing. And we've identified these prospects. They uh, go in the portfolio and we're going to explore them this year and hopefully get them to the drill stage. You have a lot of irons in the fire for 2024. We're into the second half of the year. Can you kind of set the table for us on what the rest of the year looks like, Morgan? Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, we, you know, we're uh, gearing up to um, uh, drill our Paradise Project, which is another one of these types of targets I just described. And uh, that's also in Nevada. And so we expect to be <clears throat> able to... Um, announced that we're starting that very, very soon. We're, we got the uh, crew gearing up to do it. And um, so that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a first pass test of that property for the big deep target. Uh, we've drilled other aspects of it in the past. Um, so that is going to be the drilling focus. We would like to, to consider drilling another one this year, but we'll just see how things go. Uh, but ultimately the plan is to develop the new prospects we've announced uh, and work them to the stage where they're drill ready. Uh, we think that the targets are um, are very clearly defined on several of them, um, and we'd like to get the rest of them there and then systematically explore them. Uh, we have the capacity internally to do our own drilling, which is kind of, I think, makes us really unique. So obviously, you know, you don't um, drill them all at once. You have to make a plan for it, but uh, that'll depend on uh, all the different logistical and results that come out of them um, going forward. What do you see in terms of other work going on? There's a lot of field work that, that you take a lot of pride in and you do it very well when advancing these targets. How much of that is happening right now behind the scenes? A, a lot, because uh, <laughs> what we've found, we, we've developed some really, you know, low cost techniques uh, using geological observations to be able to not only sieve them out. Um, so we've done a lot of sieving before it comes to a news release like this. There's a lot of prospects that we've rejected um, out of hand because they don't, you know, uh, have the uh, potential that we're seeking. 
Uh, but then, uh, you know, we've announced this, we've identified these areas. Now what needs to happen is detailed mapping. And we have some instruments that we use. We have something called a TerraSpec, which enables us to identify the exact uh, mineralogy of the clay and uh, other minerals that we're trying to map out. And the zonation, the distribution of those minerals will vector you uh, into kind of physical processes uh, towards where you expect uh, uh, and interpret mineralization to be. And then we also do things like soil sampling and grids that go along with that interpretation. So on the one hand, you get real data that uh, relates to where fluids have moved and where you should be drilling uh, to look for the source. And then you get uh, actual um, sort of uh, elemental results that uh, help help with that interpretation. So those, those things go on in the background and we have other high tech techniques and, um, but ultimately it comes down to the drill rig and we call that the truth machine. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we think that a lot, uh, drilling can be very expensive if you're doing it with third parties and we do it internally, uh, as much as we can, um, with our own drills. And we find that that cost saving is much better than spending a lot of time on a project doing, um, deep geophysics potentially you can get a lot of geological information out of a drill hole if you can drill it cheap uh, even if you don't hit you can vector yourself in better than spending maybe hundreds of thousands on geophysics no listen exciting times i know the treasury is robust i believe it's still at or near the entire market cap of almadex drills human ip and capital um and notwithstanding so one of the better speculations in the space Excellent, excellent exposure to copper, gold, silver. Um, well done, Morgan. Anything else to add? No, I, I really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, it's going to be, you know, we've spent, I guess the only thing I would say is that it's it's taken a year and a half um, or longer in the case of the Paradise Project to get us to this stage. So there's a lot of work that's gone into this. That's We've been kind of quietly um, testing our thesis, staking properties, uh, and and so now is is the kind of time where you know we're we're going to be advancing these aggressively so it is exciting good stuff all right looking forward to having you back on thanks again appreciate it thank all you right. cheers hey everybody gerardo del real here if you're enjoying the content that you just saw you can let us know in three simple steps hit the like button hit the subscribe button and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.